Hello, welcome to my student support system. In today's class, we will discuss about acute glomerulonephritis. This is a kidney disease. This lecture is in English and if you want to study in Hindi, just click on I button, you will get link of the Hindi lecture and you can visit my channel also, my student support system. What is Acute glomerulonephritis. Acute glomerulonephritis is defined as inflammation and subsequent damage of the glomeruli leading to hematuria, protein urea, and azotemia. Glomeruli removes excess fluid, electrolyte, and waste from the bloodstream and pass them to urine. So, this is a, the functional unit of kidney. And this is glomerulus. Normally, it passes the waste material and excess water in the form of urine. But due to some damage to the glomeruli, excessive protein and blood passes in the urine. Acute glomerulonephritis comprises a specific set of renal disease in which an immunologic mechanism triggers inflammation and proliferation of glomerular tissue that can result in damage to the basement membrane, mesangium, or the capillary endothelium. Acute nephrotic syndrome is the most serious and potentially devastating form of various renal disorders. What are the causes of acute glomerulonephritis? There are many conditions which can cause glomerulus nephritis. We can divide them in three groups. Infections, immune diseases and vasculitis. Let us see what infections can cause acute glomerulonephritis. Number one, post-streptococcal glomerulonephritis. The glomerulonephritis may develop a week or two after recovery from streptococcal throat infection or sometimes a skin infection. To fight the infection, our body produces extra antibodies and that eventually settle in the glomeruli causing inflammation. Bacterial endocarditis Bacteria occasionally can spread through bloodstream and lodge in the heart causing the infection of one or more of the heart wall. Bacterial endocarditis is associated with glomerular disease. Viral infections. Viral infections such as human immunodeficiency virus HIV, hepatitis B and hepatitis C can trigger glomerulonephritis. Second group of causes is immune disease. First of all, lupus. Lupus is a systematic, systemic autoimmune disease that occur when your body's immune system attack your own tissue or organs. Lupus can affect many parts of your body including skin, joints, kidney, blood cells, hearts and lungs. Good Posture Syndrome This is a rare immunological lung disorder that can mimic pneumonia. Good posture syndrome causes bleeding in the lungs as well as glomerulonephritis. IgA nephropathy characterized by recurrent episodes of blood in urine. This primary glomerular disease results from deposits of immunoglobulin A in the glomeruli. IgA nephropathy can progress for years without noticeable symptoms. Another set of causes for acute glomerulonephritis is vasculitis and one of them is polyarthritis. This form of vasculitis affects small and medium blood vessels in many parts of our body such as heart, kidney and intestine. Another form of vasculitis is granulomatosis with polyangitis. This form of vasculitis 
formerly known as Wegener's granulomatosis, affects small and medium blood vessels in the lungs, upper airways, and kidneys. What sign and symptom appear when glomerulonephritis is there? First of all, puffiness of the face in the morning, in swelling of the face, blood in urine. Urine may become brownish, urinating less than usual means less urination, short of breath, cough, high blood pressure, tachycardia, visual disturbances, lack of appetite, nausea and vomiting, tiredness, difficulty in sleeping, dry and itchy skin, nighttime muscle cramps, and unconsciousness. What diagnostic investigations you, the, your doctor will ask you? Uh, number one, urine examination for hematuria, specific gravity and albuminuria. Blood examination for urea and creatinine. Anti-tryptoslysin O titer ASLO test and ECG can be done. Treatment. Normally, there is no treatment for acute glomerulonephritis. It is a self-limiting disease and patient recovers within 2 or 3 weeks. <coughs> Only supportive treatment is needed, which includes antibiotics to treat infection, hypotensive drugs to control hypertension, <coughs> magnesium sulfate in case of encephalopathy to reduce cerebral edema. Sedatives sometimes uh, patient may also needs dialysis. Nursing management. <clears throat> the child may be advised bed rest and activity limitation which may be started again as condition improves. So we have to take care accordingly. Vital signs are monitored such as heart rate, respiratory rate and temperature and recorded. The balanced diet is provided to maintain sufficient nutritional status. Intake output chart should be maintained. Daily recording of weight, edema and appearance is important nursing management in acute glomerulonephritis. Child should be provided with low salt and low protein diet. Salty chips and wafers should be avoided. Recreation and play therapy in the bed is important to divert child's attention. Proper skin care and timely management of any skin wound should be done. Parents should be explained about the disease process and possible treatment to alleviate their anxiety. Assessment of respiratory status is done and should be notified in case of deterioration. Parents should be explained about the need for proper follow-up visits as and when required. Other nursing interventions include all the nursing cares which we provide for the hospitalized child. And for this you can uh, watch my another uh, lecture, Child Health Nursing. To get link of that lecture, you can click on I button and you will get link. Thank you. You can visit my YouTube channel and subscribe it so that you can get latest notification and a lot of such videos. You can like my Facebook page, My Nursing Student uh, Support System. For making your notes, you can visit my blogger, mynursingstudents.blogspot.com. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram and join Nursing Notes Facebook group. Thank you. Have a nice day.